Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module three, lesson three. I'm going to go out by starting the I can objective. It says, I can adjust a digit in a whole number quotient based on whether an estimate is too low or too high. And the learning objective is adjust the whole number quotient if the estimate is too high or too low. The prior learning from fourth grade is students found whole number quotients and remainders with up to four digit dividends and one digit dividers. Students divided using strategies based on place value, the properties of operations, and the relationship between multiplication and division. And students explain division by using equations, rectangular arrays, and area models. Now, jumping in to step it out, this is the only problem I'm going to be doing for today, um, is starts out with a word problem that reads, a ship with scientific equipment is mapping the ocean floor. The equipment can scan 24 square kilometers of ocean floor each day. How many days will the ship take to scan 941 square kilometers? Now I'm going to read that again and highlight out my numbers and try to figure out what's going on in the problem. So a ship with scientific equipment is mapping the ocean floor. The equipment can scan 24 square kilometers of ocean floor each day. How many days will the ship take to scan 941 square kilometers? So we have this piece of equipment can do 24 square kilometers a day. We want to know how many days is it going to take to do 941 square kilometers. Okay, so use compatible numbers to estimate 941 divided by 24. And again, those compatible numbers is really just what number can we get close to to estimate mentally. So 941 is pretty close to 1,000, which is an easy number to work with. So I'm going to put 1,000. And I'm going to divide this 24. Let's do 25. 25 is easy to work with. I know quarters, four quarters, and a dollar. I can work with 25. All right. Um, so my estimate for 1,000 divided by 25. If you can't do this in your head, I'm going to give you a really good trick on how to do this. So for 1,000, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off a zero for now. And I'm going to deal with 100. Do you know how many 25s are in 100? It's the same thing, like I said, how many quarters are in a dollar? If there's 25 cents, one dollar is 100 cents. So how many quarters make up a dollar? Four. So I know my answer is gonna start with a four. Remember when I took that zero off, now I'm gonna put it back on at the end of my problem. So there are 40 groups of 25 in 1,000. So 1,000 divided by 25 is equal to 40. So that's my estimated answer for how many days it's gonna to take to scan the ocean floor. For B, use the first digit of your estimate as the first digit of the whole number quotient. So what it's asking me to do in this problem over to the right, where it says 24 divided by 941, it's saying use the first number in my estimate, 40, so I'm gonna use four. I'm gonna use that as my quotient up top. So when it says 24 divided by 94, if I thought my answer was gonna be 40, now I'm gonna put a four up above to see if that's true. Is your estimate too low, too high, or correct? Let's find out. So four times 24, so four times four is 16. If I carry that one, four times two is eight, plus one more is nine. Ooh, 96 is bigger than 94, which means my four is too large. So what I'm gonna say is that my estimate was just too high. All right, so now C, adjust the first digit based on the results and then divide. So if my, if the 96 was too large, that means my four was too large. That means I need to pull it down and my four now needs to be a three. And that should work out very nicely for us. So three times 24. So three times four is 12. Carry the one. Three times two is six and 72. So now when I subtract, I should get 22. That's smaller than 24, so now I am good to go. So adjust the first digit based on your result and then divide. How many tens are left? I have 22. 
tens left. Okay, now moving on. Now I need to divide the one. So I'm going to continue on with the same problem that I was just working on. Estimate the whole number quotient and use the number. Is your estimate too low, too high, or correct? Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I'm going to bring down my one so that I can go into working with my ones. Now I have 221 and it's being divided by 24. So I know that 221 is pretty close to 200. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up above my picture and I'm going to write here my 200. And again, my 24 is pretty close to 25. So this is my estimate right here, 200 divided by 25. Now, if I said before that there's four 25s in a hundred, that means if I have 200, I just need to double that number. So if I had four, now I have eight. Okay, so that's my educated guess. So I'm going to say maybe there's eight 24s that can go into 221. Let's find out. So I'm going to put an eight above, and now I need to multiply. Eight times four is 32. Carry that three. Eight times two is 16 plus that three. 16, 17, 18, 19. So now when I subtract... I'm going to do, I'm going to have to cross cancel and do 11 minus two is nine and then borrow again and two. Now what I have left over is 29, but remember, I have to always check that with my divisor. My divisor is 24 and what I had left is 29, which means my eight is not the correct answer which means my eight just didn't cut it. I need to go one more. So my estimate, is it too low, too high, or correct? It was too low. I need to go one higher. So it was too low. And you know, sometimes that happens with estimating, but the good news is whenever you estimate, you're usually only just one off and you can just try it one more time and then you, you'll have the right answer then. So for E, Adjust the second digit based on your results and then divide. Interpret their remainder to answer the question. Okay, so kind of a bummer. What I need to do is erase. Because I'm on the iPad, the eraser is a, not as sensitive as what your eraser would be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a red line to show I'm going to do the problem over again. So let me go and catch up. So I have 941. It's going to be going into 24. I said I have three. I got 72 subtracted. I had 220. Bring down the one. Okay, pause there. Now I said eight. We knew that didn't cut it, which means I need to move it up to be nine. All right, so now I can multiply through. So nine times four is 36. Carry that three. Nine times two is 18 plus that three more is going to be 21. So now when I subtract, I know that 221 minus 216, I just need five from 16 to get to 21. So I have five as my remainder. Five is definitely lower than 24. So we're good. That's our final answer. It says since 941 divided by 24 is... 39 remainder five, it will take the ship blank amount of days to scan 941 square kilometers. Remember, we can't leave any of the ocean floor not scanned. So we have to round up. So it will actually take 40 days to get all of the amount, not 40 full days, but it will take 40 days for us to get the 941 square kilometers that we're looking for. All right, that is it for today's lesson. Go ahead and finish up the rest of the lesson and I will see you for module three, lesson four.